Do we have any more filters? Well, no. No, we don't have any more coffee filters. But that is not why I was going to make the fancy coffee today. I was going to make the fancy coffee today because it's our anniversary. 60 years. 60 six years. Dude. 60 years of game over for this guy and this girl. That but it's been me. great. It's been great. We had uh, three kids in the six years, so an average of one kid every two years. I guess we've been pretty productive. But we're done. I promise. We're done. All right, let's make some nice coffee. Here we go. Step number one. Got to add the beans. If you haven't tried this brand right here, dude, give this brand a try. It's the best with this coffee machine. The Breville. Here we go. Beans are going everywhere. Yeah, it's got to stay in the middle. Please stay in the middle. That's why I'm afraid. Please excuse my special looking thumb. It's the one that got in the accident with the miter saw, you know. Mm. Almost lost the poor guy there. But anyways, look at this. You got the steam milk going, and then what I do is, I just gotta put the honey in everything, you know? As a beekeeper, I have to do it. When we get to Chicago, we got a buddy who's a master at latte art. I will reach out to the guy, and we will have a tutorial on how to make proper latte art. My boy, what you eating? What you like more, carbs or protein? Carbs. <laughs> Look at here. Rain clouds in, rolling in. It's gonna be a beautiful day. You know, I gotta address something. If you hear me talk, you probably hear a lot of words that you don't understand on accident. It's because we've been teaching our kids to speak Romanian first. So it's really hard to remember in the film. You gotta stick to English only. But they know Romanian first just so that they can still be bilingual from the start. It's important. All right, it is now 9.30. Olivia and I, we're going walking. Yeah. Right? Oh, shoot. Olivia, we don't have masks. They won't let us inside. Oh, come back home. This whole mask thing, I can't get used to it. All right, I'll go back home the mask and then we're gonna go to the post office to drop off a letter and to get some shipping boxes yeah I sent some packages today after that um, Jen really wants she has a sweet tooth sometimes so on a birthday on an engagement you know these kind of things anniversary week we'll do it so I'm gonna go to Cheesecake Factory buy some cheesecake we're gonna eat some cheesecake and we're gonna do a Q&A me and her for our anniversary. So let's get, let's do it. Hello. Okay, so uh, since today is our six year anniversary and we can't go out on a date, we're just gonna have to make a video with you guys. Talking to a camera. Yep. <laughs> Still getting used to it. Honey. I don't like the camera. She hates the, I camera, hate the camera, but she'll, she'll get used to it. No. The camera will be part of our lives now. No, if I do a video a day for the rest of my life. Wow, that sounds really... <laughs> I just I don't know how long we're going to keep doing this. Okay, but we, we found a bunch of husband and wife questions. And we, just, we thought it would be fun to do like a Q&A. So, let's go. Um, mm, when did we meet? Number one. When did we meet, number one? We October met. 1st, 2011. 11. We met at a band concert. I had a bright, 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 bright green tie. I'm going to find a photo of that tie or me wearing it. I'm going to put it up. I hope I can find that photo. But bright green tie. Yeah, it was obnoxious. Yeah. And then she's like, what is wrong with that guy? But um, 
actually, actually, that's a good story. Here's how we met, though. So I was just doing my thing, you know? And, and by that time, my thing was not involving girls whatsoever. Like, I, just, I was like, dude, I was 20. I'm like, I just want to have fun. I want to go enjoy life. I want to enjoy my friends. Uh, I don't want to be tied down to a, to a girlfriend, you know? So I think that may have helped because if I was actually trying to find get her, I would have been all awkward. Like, hi, hi, you're cute. But I was, whatever. You know, it's just not a girl. So a buddy of mine sees her and he goes, wow, that girl's gorgeous. Who is she? So he starts asking around. And another friend says, I have Ben find out. So he goes to me, Ben, can you find out who that girl is over there? Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. I also find out she's single. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Walk up to Jen. And right when I walk up to her, I see a guy, I, I hear a friend of mine that was talking with her ask all four of the girls in the group and affirm, you guys are all single, right? You know what? Yeah, yeah. And I heard her say, yeah. And I'm like, oh, easy. One out of two done. Hi, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Oh, great. You're Thai stupid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, great. So uh, I leave and I tell the guy, hey, man, uh, She's Jen, she's single. He's like, all right, all right, go, go back and talk to her and uh, and get her to come out with us, you know? So I go so I start talking to her, but I couldn't just be you know, like, hey, just come with us, you know? Uh, so I had to talk to her a little, you know, get to know her a little bit. Then I told her to come out and she came out. So I get there, I look around, my buddy's not there. I'm like, oh, what are we gonna do? I'm like, oh, I know, I'll sit next to her. So I sit down next to her and I'm watching, I'm like talking, you know, but I'm watching. When, when he walks in, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him the seat. And sure enough, I see him coming in the restaurant. I hop, like Jen said. And I grab my phone. I'm like, hey, uh, guys, something came up. I got a call and I got to leave. Bye, nice to meet you. And I run out. And when I run, I pass by him. I'm like, hey, that's the seat, man. Take it. All right, go to my car, chill a few minutes, come back. You know, oh, guys, never mind. False alarm. They figured it out. Only shh. And uh, he didn't sit by her. He chickened out. He straight up did not sit by her. So, Somebody else ended up sitting by her. Not me, because the seat was taken by then. So, uh, yeah, that's how I met. That's how I got to know her. Um, that was a really long story. That would have been the end of it. It's an even longer story. That would have been the end of it. But then after that, he's like, hey, man, uh, can you find out her work schedule? Can you um, can you add her on Facebook and find out her work schedule? So, fine, I added her on Facebook. And I had to talk to her a little bit. I couldn't just ask her for her work schedule. And I got it. And then I gave it to him. He's like, hey, let's go visit her, me and you. I'm like, mm, no, nah, man, this is where this is where my wingman ends. I'm not doing that with you. So you're, not, you're on your own. You have to do it on your own. Go ahead. But, uh, you know, just kind of so happened that we were at the mall once and we're like, hey, let's go visit that girl that guy's trying to get with. You know, let's go say hi to her. And we visited her. And uh, yeah, eventually, just kept, just kept talking to her. <laughs> Every October 1st, we go to IHOP now. I really hate that tradition. It's the best I, tradition. I wish we went to a better restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> not, nothing against IHOP. I'm just... It's, just, it's good. I always feel gross there, after there I better, get there. There are better breakfast places. Yeah, breakfast and their places. coffee sucks. Yeah. Really bad. Whatever. Sorry. All right. Next question. What was your first opinion of mine? Of me? Hubba hubba hubba. Yours? How was yours? I think I already... We, yeah. I already... I thought that he was a little weird, crazy for wearing a lime green obnoxious tie. Yeah. That's it. When did you know I was the one? Uh, I still don't know. I don't believe in the one. Uh, just me personally. I mean, I know she's my perfect wife, but that's because I chose to make her my perfect wife and I chose to, to make it work. It's not like, oh my God, I found the perfect piece for this puzzle piece and do that's perfect it's magic no man you just make it work man life is not like oh you guys match and then this this is oh tangent here this is why divorce is so prevalent today is because people have this conce conception of oh see we have tension we're not we're not fitting man so i gotta divorce and leave you i must have made a mistake you're not the one let me find the one let me try let me try. no man it's called you you make it work you figure out hey this doesn't go there this goes in bam after a long time i mean we're definitely much more um, unified today than we have been when we first got married. There's a lot more tension then. What's your thought? Did you know I was the one? That's a hard one. I think just the more I started talking to you and getting to know you, there wasn't there wasn't like a specific moment. So you could tell we don't share the same philosophies on that. You no, know, I agree with you, obviously, <laughs> but you, you still have that moment when you're dating and you realize I want to marry her or him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know, guess. I think that's what the question is. I guess. We're going to skip the next one. It's kind of a dumb one. <laughs> How long did it take to plan the wedding? 
we had like 750 people at the wedding so a, a long time when did we get married oh, whatever 20 20 20 14 we got we got married 2014 before I graduated college and before she graduated college it was awesome because I was about to fail and you were actually on break so you were fine right I was on yeah spring break yeah but I missed my finals because of my honeymoon <sighs> teacher was upset uh huh how did you propose this is a good one I'm gonna do it real fast though okay. um <clears throat> I would tell Jen when we are dating sometimes not too many times. But I would say, oh, baby, I love you so much. It should be illegal, you know. I don't know, I thought that was cute at the time. <laughs> anyway, so mm -hmm, I should make something off of that. <clears throat> so what I did is this. And I'm going to see if I can dig up the footage and put some of it in here. But I went. Well, so I'm just going to tell you now. Like, I won't even tell you the plan. I'll just tell you what happened. We're driving. Light turns red. And I'm like, Psh, forget this red light. Let's go through this gas station. Turn left into the gas station. I'm like, oh my God, there's a cop in this gas station. And you know, Jen sees the cop and whatever. Um, and then I'm like, oh crap, I think he's gonna come after me. She's like, no, he's not, he'll be fine. And sure enough, he starts coming after me. I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, I'm gonna get pulled over for cutting through the gas station. She's like, just relax, you're fine. And sure enough, he turns on the lights. So. I'm like, I think he's following us. Yeah, got pulled over. Yeah, cop comes up, normal stop, you know. Red license and registration. Okay, here you go. Blah, blah, blah. Comes out. You know, comes out. A little tense. The cop, he's like, hey, sir, I need you to get out of the car. There's a warrant out for your arrest. You know, you have the right to remain silent, blah, 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 you know, whatever. I don't know if he actually gave me my, that speech because technically it wasn't a real stop. He was helping me out, so I'm not sure. But whatever. He arrested me, handcuffed me, put me in the back of his car. Okay, and then. And then he goes and interrogates her, and he's like, what did he, what did he ask you? He's like, were you aware that uh, he was doing illegal activities? I'm like... Did he ever hint that he was doing illegal activities? Like, what are you talking about? What? No. Yeah, she, she totally didn't. She forgot all about that saying. <laughs> and then he just kept asking me, like, were you aware of that? Were you aware of that? How well do you know him? How well do you? Yeah, I'm just like... Do you trust him? What's your relationship with him? <laughs> You know, all these things. You know, I was hoping like she would really. I was so confused. Like, very confused. She wasn't happening? scared. She was more confused. Anyway, so then, then he finds a, a duffel bag in the back of the car. He's like, I need to open up that bag. I need to see what's inside that bag. And uh, so he's like, I'm gonna have to take him out and have him open the bag because I'm not sure what could be dangerous. Anything in there. So he puts the bag on the floor, takes me out, takes the handcuffs off, and uh, you know, I, I, Jen's like standing like this is like the bag. Hopefully, I have the video. The bag's here. And, like, I'm here and Jen's like standing here. Um, I get down. I'm opening the bag. I'm like, officer, what did the what did the warrant say? Did it say I'm wanted for loving her so much that it's illegal? And I look at Jen and Jen's like, Ben, not, not right now. I'm like, why would you say that? No time for jokes right now, Ben. This is a serious I situation. Didn't, I still didn't get it. I still didn't get it. And then like, open up the bag and then the bag's like all memorabilia of like of us, like well, the things we bought each other and whatnot. And then I you know, turn over to her and I give her the speech and bam, and then I hit her and she's like. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, will you marry me? And she's like, oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. And I'm then like, I said, will you marry me? Maybe. No, I said yes, of course. <laughs> and she's like, yes, of course. <sighs> How many children did I want before marriage? How many did you want? I think I wanted at least two to four. And she grew up five. with with five siblings. Six. Oh yeah, there's six of us. So yeah, five. Siblings. I grew up with only one sister, and I wanted like mm -hmm. eight to ten kids. We had one. And I'm like, yeah, let's go with six. And I had two. I'm like, ah, let's go with five. And then we had three. And I'm like, okay, we're done with three. Okay, I don't think we ever wanted eight to ten kids. I want it. I want a whole construction crew. Oh my god. Dude, like, we can do a lot of projects. Mm, okay. I'm eight What does my family think of you? Oh, let's skip that one. Okay. <laughs> what is my worst habit? Your worst habit? Ah, oh, dang, I like these. These are good questions. Tell me. I really hate it when she farts in Dutch ovens okay. me. Like that's the worst. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> the worst. That never happened. That's true, that didn't happen. Okay. Oh, I just um... want to make something up. <laughs> the worst habit. Man, I don't know. Let me, there's a lot that you know, does that you, you do that annoys me. Oh, oh. oh I know. I know. Duh. 
she drops everything. Like, like just the clumsiest person you've ever That's met. That's not true. I mean, like, breaks her phone, breaks my phone, drops the kids, drops the baby, just drops everything. I mean, like, and like, she's got good days, but then when she has a bad day, it's not like I drop, she drops one thing. No, she'll drop, like, absolutely everything. He's over-exaggerating. By a little bit. By a lot. Okay, I'll, I'll film you when you drop stuff and I'll edit it in. <laughs> okay, what is your worst habit? His worst habit. He piles the dishes in the sink so high that you can't wash the dishes. It's like so it's you a have Jenga. To, you have to take everything out to wash the dishes. It doesn't make sense. And lately, I've actually picked up one of her worst habits that she stopped doing because it bugged me so much. Yeah. And that is leaving cabinet doors open. She used to always do that. I and don't now, anymore. And now I do. He does. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Who is a better cook? <laughs> me. What? <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. Okay, vlog number whatever it's gonna be when we're in Chicago. I'm gonna do a cook off, me versus you. Okay. And then we'll have to bring people, a judge of panels, and they're gonna have to choose. That's a great idea. That's a great vlog okay. idea. Let's I keep wait. All right. How have you ever pretended to sleep to avoid an argument? <laughs> Heck no, I love fighting. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You know, I always I'm like, let's settle this now. No sleeping. Let's. Oh yeah, that's true. If if there is ever an argument, we resolve it before. Yeah, I'm a, a I'm a. We're not sleeping, even if we have to fight all night. <laughs> we never pretended to sleep. It's not, no. it's not a dumb question. It could be relevant for other people. What was our last argument about? I cannot. Oh, this morning with the with the with the kid. What what did he do that I was annoyed at? Oh, the markers. Oh yeah. Just, I don't know why she buys markers with the kids, and there's a white carpet here, so they're drawn all over the carpet. Yeah, they happened a few times. Yeah, I'm like, throw them away. But they're washable away. markers, and I finally so threw them away today. Wash, it's not easy. They just throw a mark there. Listen, they have to expand All their right. creativity into color. Yeah, the they color. do. Who is more affectionate? Who is the more romantic one? Who is the funny one? Who is the more outgoing? I like him. Who, would I prefer to stay in or go out on Friday night? Depends on the Friday night. Mm, Mostly go out, though. Depends. <sighs> what is my best physical trait? <clears throat> Your best physical trait. Now remember, keep it PG. Oh, okay. Look at this kid. What the? I think what is she doing? I think it's. I think it's the shape of your eyeballs. I mean, your eyes, <laughs> not your eyeballs. They're like almond shaped. Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, she had an almond right now, so I can like. like That's funny, it. cause like, cause she chose a fruit, to, or not a fruit, but a food item to describe. Like my best feature, and, and mine for her is too, is a peach. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I was more likely to get into a fight. You. So stereotypical. What is the best gift I have ever gotten for you? The best gift I gave you mm -hmm. is uh, our children. <laughs> the kids, like, we both got it. For each other like do i need to spell it out how it works we both oh i know i know you're um I thought, obviously i didn't do any of the heavy lifting <laughs> your spear gun that's the best you think yeah you use it a lot i've actually never used it i hate it i used the other one i bought oh well whatever i got you into it more maybe you did you did she gave me permission to go into spear fishing yes, yeah. i gave him a spear gun i wouldn't know if i would have said I would have said I was much more appreciative of you letting me buy the motorcycle. That was way. I, I didn't riskier. give you a motorcycle though. That's not a gift. Yeah, though. but you let me buy it. That's not a gift though. Most women would have like thrown a fit and not let it happen. Okay, my best gift that I've ever given you. <gasps> I know. What? Well, no. What were you gonna say? I first. I was gonna say this. Hold on, right here. It's right here. <laughs> This is the best gift I've ever given her. Her first rose. Pretty cute. It's all yeah. dusty. And we saved it. Yeah, that's the first rose he ever gave to me. He put it on the windshield of my car. Yeah, how cool is that? After work, I went to my car. Rose. There it was. So cute. Alright. That pretty much sums up Q&A with the Il Chukis. <laughs> of uh, 60th anniversary. All jokes aside.
I love it. It's been the best six years of my life. Mm-hmm. The best. And I uh, can't wait to see where else we end up because we've had a pretty crazy life already. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're in Hawaii for crying out loud. <laughs> so. Another two weeks. Yeah. All right. All right. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit a thumbs up. Hopefully, you know us better by now. And, um. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Peace. Um, it's